What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with my second video of the night. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about Von Miller. Now, as you know, free agency is now less than a week away, and one of the Browns' primary objectives in free agency is to boost the defense and fortify the defensive line, mainly edge rusher. Now, um, some people on Brown's Twitter have been talking about Von Miller as a potential option for the Browns in free agency. Well, there's one problem with that. Um, Von Miller is currently not a free agent as of the making of this video. And uh, the thing is, He's got a club option that is yet to be picked up by the Broncos. And knowing me, the moment I post this video, I'm going to get a notification saying the Broncos have picked up Von Miller's option. He is not going to be a free agent. So now Crazy Dog's video is stupid. If that happens, oh well. But uh, a lot of Browns fans are talking about the possibility of Von Miller coming to Cleveland if he does hit the market. And I know there's going to be people out there saying, why would he want to come to Cleveland? Well, it's simple. You know, he's best friends with Odell. And, of course, Miles went to Texas A&M, you know, the same university that Vaughn went to. And could you imagine Vaughn and Miles bookending our pass rush? <laughs> Good luck blocking that defensive line, all I'm going to say, bro. <laughs> and then there's Joe Woods. Now, for those who don't know, Joe Woods was the Broncos' defensive coordinator in uh, 2017 and 2018. And um, Von Miller was uh, really good under Joe Woods' uh, system. In fact, he had 24 and a half sacks in two seasons. That's freaking nuts. Now imagine what he could do with a borderline, no, not even borderline, an elite pass rusher on the other side of him. <laughs> like, bro, imagine Vaughn and Miles going after quarterbacks together on the same defensive line with Sheldon Richardson and I'm going to assume Andrew Billings in the middle. Mm, I hope your quarterback has life insurance. That's all I'm going to say. Now, am I saying this is going to happen? No, because it all depends on if the Broncos pick up uh, Vaughn's option, which they're probably going to. I mean, they'd be stupid to let him hit the market. And for those wondering about his legal troubles, I believe uh, no charges were filed. So I think in that department, he's good to go. But yeah, um, he is coming off an injury, and he is the same age as J.J. Watt. In fact, uh, he was the second pick in the same draft as J.J. J.J., I believe, was picked, what, 11th or something like that? So, uh, yeah. In fact, they were actually born four days apart. Yeah. Uh, Vaughn was born March 26th, so just thought I'd let you know. But um, I know those Browns fans that are talking about this. I figured I'd make a quick video about it. It's always fun to, like, think about this kind of stuff, you know? I mean, what if Von Miller becomes a free agent then comes to the Browns and lines up with Miles Garrett? Well, if that happens, I'm going to get freaking lit on camper. You know, we're going to have some fun watching Miles and Vaughn terrorize opposing quarterbacks for hopefully 16 games. And uh, yeah, things would be hella awesome around here. And well, things would be very bad for our opponent because, you know, you can't throw the ball if you got two freaking like ball hunters coming at you. Like, you, I, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to get rid of the ball in like 0.5 seconds which is pretty much how long it would probably take Miles or Vaughn to get to you. And the thing is, you would be unable to double-team them both because if you do that, oh, look, here comes Andrew Billings and Sean Richardson. Or even, here comes the linebackers. Or a blitzing safety. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's a, it'd be essentially pick your poison in that case. But, yeah, um, 
just thought I'd make a video on this because I know a lot of Browns fans are talking about, oh, you know, could Vaughn possibly, you know, could be a free agent? It's possible. But if you ask me, I don't think he will be. The Broncos would be stupid to let him hit the market. But, um, yeah, that's going to uh, wrap up this video. Of course, as always, subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And, uh, of course, turn on those notifications because I got one more video coming out tonight. And it'll be draft-related. Yeah, my first, like, draft-related video of draft season. I mean, I remember in years past, they would have had, like, four or five videos out or whatever by now. Mainly mock drafts. By the way, mock drafts are freaking stupid. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll be actually uh, reviewing a couple mock drafts. Mainly, uh, like, who people think the Browns are going to take. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, it's better when I don't do them because, yeah, I suck at doing mock drafts. I find it stupid now because we're picking 26th and it'd be a waste of time. Like, I don't know who's going to be there. Bro, I'm not going to waste my time, you know. Bro, we're picking 26th, bro. <laughs> like, dude, I'm not even going to waste my time. But, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.